Hey guys, thanks for coming back. My name is Nick, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you never miss a video. Today we're making crepes. We're gonna show you four different ways to plate them up. So let's get it going right now. We got some fresh organic strawberries here. Washed them up, removed the stems. We'll have the smaller ones, and we'll quarter the larger. Put that into our bowl. Now we're going to macerate these strawberries. I'm going to add half a cup of balsamic vinegar, a little bit of sugar, three tablespoons, and we're going to add some fresh mint. Give this a chop. And we'll add that to our strawberries. Nice and fresh. Give that a mix, and we'll let those flavors develop in the fridge for about an hour or so. You could do this overnight as well. Now we'll make our chocolate sauce. Show you just how easy it is to make a chocolate sauce at home so you don't have to buy that squeeze bottle stuff anymore. Start with three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Sift that in. Two cups of water. A cup of sugar. Put to medium heat, let it come to a simmer, cook for about eight minutes, and then we'll cool it down. But to this, I'm going to add a little bit of espresso. We're going to make a nice espresso chocolate syrup for our crepes. So if you want just the plain chocolate syrup, you can just leave the espresso out. But I'm going to add half a teaspoon of espresso powder. Give that a whisk. Okay, our chocolate sauce is ready. We'll shut off the heat, transfer that to a bowl, and we'll let that completely cool. And now we can make our spiced blueberry compote. Put in two cups of fresh blueberries, and then the juice of half a lemon, three tablespoons of sugar. We don't want this overly sweet. We want this to be more spiced. So I have half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground clove. You don't want to go crazy with the clove, it's very strong. We'll put this on medium heat, we'll add our spices. And once this comes to the consistency we want, we'll add a little bit of fresh nutmeg and fresh cinnamon. Don't forget a pinch of salt. Bring everything together, bring all the flavors out. And all this can be made ahead. The blueberry compote, our chocolate sauce, our strawberries. All this can be made ahead so you have everything ready to go. And depending on which crepe you're in the mood for, all you have to do is make your crepe. We'll let that cook. All right, our blueberries look like they're ready. It's a nice consistency. We'll kill the heat. Now we'll grate in some fresh nutmeg. And some fresh cinnamon. That looks good. It smells great. We'll put that to the side. All right, let's go ahead and prepare our crepe batter now. To a bowl, we'll add one cup of flour one tablespoon of sugar with half a teaspoon of salt, and we'll add one cup of whole milk, two whole eggs. Give that a nice whisk, break up the yolks. Then we'll add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Give that a nice whisk, and then we'll finish with two tablespoons of melted butter. There you go, crepe batter. All right, let's make some crepes. In a nonstick pan preheated, add a little bit of butter. You can get a crepe pan if you want, but nonstick pan works just as well. We'll put a little bit of our crepe batter just to coat the bottom. Swirl your batter so it covers as I cook. See the top is already setting. Crepes go quick. Get some browning from our butter. Maybe we can give that a flip, a little reach. The first crepe's never perfect. Set that aside, and we'll just repeat. 
butter, some batter. If you don't want to use your hands, you could try and just flip the crepe with the pan, but like that. Takes a little bit of practice, but this looks better. All right, I'll cook the rest of these, and then we'll finish these up. And now we can make our bananas. Put a little bit of butter in there, a couple of tablespoons. You got two bananas sliced. Throw those in. Pinch of salt. And some brown sugar. Quarter cup. Let that caramelize. So we want to get our pan nice and hot. Let everything melt. And we're going to deglaze this with some Calvados. You want to be careful whenever you do this with any liqueur. You don't want to just dump it over the flame in the hot pan with the bottle because it can explode in your hand. I've seen it happen. A few years ago in a restaurant, a guy would pour wine, poured it right over, bottle exploded. And, of course, after we made sure it was okay, we made fun of him and laughed at him, but still. You don't want that to happen to you. So, take our pan off. Splash of Calvados. that alcohol burn off. Looks really cool. So you can press whoever you're cooking for. And let that cook down to a nice syrup consistency. All right, let's finish up these crepes. So we have our chocolate one. Put some chocolate chips in the middle here. Just toss it in the microwave. Let it melt a bit. Fold that in there, roll it up. And we'll take our chocolate sauce. That looks great. So easy to make. So much better than the packaged stuff you get. We'll give that a little drizzle on there. That espresso in there, give it a nice flavor. A little bit of cocoa powder. Good to go. I'll eat that one, no problem. And we have our spiced blueberry compote we made with the ginger and the fresh cinnamon, fresh nutmeg, a little bit of clove. Put that in there. Nice and spiced, not too sweet. Same thing, roll that up. More of those blueberries on there. We got our Flambéed Bananas Foster over here. That great apple brandy. Some of those bananas on there. That sauce. I think the banana is my favorite. And finally, we have our strawberries. Macerated in balsamic vinegar, a little mint. Tuck those in. I could just say that this is five ways to do crepes and just take one and throw some syrup on there, but that's too boring. That's cheating. That balsamic that we put in there. Fresh mint on there. I mean, come on. That's gorgeous. There it is. Four awesome ways to do crepes. Give these a try, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. 
really helps the channel grow. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. I think I'm going to have to dig into all these crepes, and we'll see you next time.